Hey, what's up guys? Awesome back here with another video. In this video, it's not going to be any tackle or anything. I guess you could kind of call it tackle. But this is going to be tips and techniques on how to save time while lead pouring in bulk. Um, a lot of y'all, a lot of my friends that watches my videos, they pour their heads and stuff and jigs and all kind of crap like that. But, um... Uh, I also make swim bait heads, so I make the crap too, but here lately I've been having to pour in bulk. And what I mean pour in bulk, I mean a handful of different sizes at a time. And <clears throat> I've talked to them, they do it the same exact way I do it. So you have your mold. You know, you put your hook in your mold. I'm not going to go through that setup because if you want to watch that, go to my other lead pouring video. It takes you step by step, the technique, how to do it, and all that. But, uh, so this is a finished product here. And you may see this little, like, chef's hat right here. It's round, and you're not going to fish with that. Although, I say it'd make a pretty good... Nedry cut, I mean, it stands up. Well, if I'm balanced, I, I ain't got good balance. But, uh, it is standing up right here. But, you do not want that. I'm sorry about that window and everything. I tried to get in here for better lighting, and it just ain't working out. I did shut the blind. So, here's what I, I do. You do have to break this off with a pair of pliers or whatever and you have to do it individually otherwise you get a bad break off and stuff so instead of you know pouring one and sitting out there you know breaking it off just pour all of them keep them separated i put my eighth ounce in here and i just held my sixteenth of an ounce in my hand and carried them in here so then they sit down and break them all apart all at once so i mean it's super fast super effective instead of breaking them while you are trying to pour them just simply pour them all and then come inside or wherever you want to be if it's cold definitely inside that way you ain't freezing and you can break them off you ain't got to have a high dollar pair of pliers or see anything that will grip. I like using that big part right there. It just seems to grip it better. But you can also grip it up here. If you have needle nose at home, that works. Just whatever you have around your house or in your shop or in your building. So. And just like that, you got all the eighth ounce heads done and broke off. So, set them over to the side. Now, I'm going to show y'all how fast, easy, and effective it is, and how good a product you get. These here is sixteenths of an ounce. I mean, it's over a handful. It's probably over 50 there, and I ain't broke none of them apart. So, instead of doing a time lapse or anything, I'm just going to show y'all how fast and easy and simple it is to do it. I do like using my other hand. I clamp, I clamp down, take that, and wiggle it, and then it comes loose just like that. I, I was doing it like that with my pliers hand. It don't matter whichever way you want to do it.
So right now we actually have a pretty good pile going and it's also been about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes.